Well, it's a hot one today here in central Wisconsin. And I am wearing a shirt. And oh my goodness, my man boobs are showing. Didn't used to be that way. Used to have a nice, broad, beautiful, beautiful chest. When I go to the strip club, sometimes the strippers would come by and grab me on my beautiful ass and rub their hands across my chest. Those were the days, but those days are over. At this point, doesn't matter to me if you listen. Doesn't matter to me anymore if you're allowed to listen, quite frankly. Because here we are. And if you're not willing to see what's unfolding right in front of your face and where they want to take us or have taken us would be more accurate. That's on you. The sad part about it is the rest of us have to go into this hell hole with you whether we see it or not. Because there have been plenty of people out here like me trying to warn you about where we're going. The best analogy I can come up with, it's like, well, I'll tell you a story. When Jaws first came out on videotape, me and my dad sat down to watch it and th back in those days, you had to heat up oil so that you could pop your popcorn. And we became so engrossed in the movie that we forgot the oil was on the stove. And eventually, it burst into flames. And even then, in until the oil started popping and, and farting, we didn't even realize it because we were so engrossed in what we were watching that it could have literally burned the house down. These are the times we're living in today, believe it or not. And that's exactly what they don't want you to see. That's a huge part of the censorship. That's a huge part of shadow banning people who are trying to warn you about what they're trying to do. But eventually, they have to come out of the closet and normalize it, or try to at least normalize it for everybody else. And at that point, you have to be willing to accept it in order for them to make the next step. Well, they basically came out last night and told you what they want to do. Are you ready to make the next step? Or are you going to say, Hell no, I ain't freaking going there. That's where, you're, where we're at. Your house is on fire. Now what are you going to do about it? Just sit there and keep watching the freaking movie? If so, you're going to end up exactly where they want you.